Good morning, Westbrook kids and families. I'm back at my lemonade stand and I'm kind of getting lonely because none of my friends can stop by. But there is one friend that is always with me and will be my friend forever, Jesus. Stand up and say the memory verse before we head to the clubhouse. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8, 39. What a great reminder. Work on memorizing the verse this week. Come on for our praise party, and then let's go on to the clubhouse. God loves when I dance, when I dance. God loves when I sing, when I sing. And He loves the special way He made me special. to see you. We had such a busy morning here at the lemonade stand. So many of my neighborhood friends came by to get lemonade. First, it was Miss Amelia from down the street. She's so sweet, she got a cup of lemonade. Then, it was Doug from the street over. He was super thirsty after his ball game. Then it was Dr. Veronica. She came by after taking care of sick people, but she really liked my lemonade. It's been an amazing day. I just love seeing so many of my special friends. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. 
Hello, Poppy. Ho, ho. Did a lot of friends come by to see you? Hey, Ollie. Yes, so many amazing friends came by the lemonade stand today. It made me so happy. I just love seeing all my friends. Seeing friends is great. It's true. I have a story about a very special friend for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Ah. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. This lemonade my friend Poppy gave me is really good. That reminds me of someone who gave us something even better. Let me tell you the story. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with God. And how he loves us with his whole heart. This is the world. God loves everyone in the whole wide world. You could live here, or over here, or even here. Yep, God loves everyone. God loves everyone so much that he gave us a very special gift. Now, it wasn't a new bicycle. It wasn't a cute fluffy puppy. Do you want to hear what the special gift is? <laughs> Jesus! God loves the world so much, he gave us Jesus. Wow! <laughs> Let's say that together. Can you repeat after me? God loves, God loves the world so much, the world so much, he gave us, he gave us Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> that's right. God loves the world so much, he gave us Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. And drum roll please. That's right. Jesus wants to be my friend forever, and Jesus wants to be your friend, and your friend, and your friend. <laughs> God loves you so much, he gave you Jesus. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God gave us Jesus to be our friend. And he will be our friend forever. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Ho! Ho! What a great story. God loves us so much. He gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Wow! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I had such a good time today seeing so many special friends, but no one's a better friend than Jesus. Well, I've got to go soon. I know more people will be coming by. See you next time. Bye! Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Hey kids, do you know that the whole Bible is about how much God loves you and his plan to give Jesus to us to be our friend forever? 
It is definitely my favorite true story in the Bible. God loves the world so much, he gave us Jesus. You may be missing your friends while you're staying at home, so I have a special challenge. Why don't you make an I miss you card for your best friend? Ask an adult to address it, stamp it, and mail it to your friend. They will be so surprised to get your note. I hope you have a great week.